All right, kids, who likes YouTuber music? Eh, close enough. But first, let me tell you guys a little bit of information on the artist that we are covering today. She's a YouTuber with over 6 million subs. She's dating another pretty kind of famous falling off YouTuber named Quavo Cop. Whenever you compare their numbers... You can see who really wears the pants in this relationship. Before, she was getting mad exposure from this man. But now, all his fans just said, fuck you. And they just went over to her channel. And they just said, we're just going to leave this man to die. Her true claim to fame is whenever her and the one and only greatest YouTuber of all time, fuck PewDiePie and T-Series, Sniper Wolf were beefing over who stole whose thumbnail format. Yes, 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 people calm down, calm down. Yes, it was bigger than the Keemstar and Leafy beef. This was some real shit right here, like blood was shed. But once all that settled, both of them went back to making the same videos with the same thumbnail formats and neither one of them decided to change it up. So I guess they settled it out of court. But other than that, let's go ahead and listen to this masterpiece of a song that she has graced us with the other day. Straight up fire, flames, oh my. Yo man, I don't even need to listen to anymore. What I heard right there, my mans. I know this man did not just come up with that line on his own, he must have ghostwriters. It must have took three people, three months to come up with that one line that I don't even know if I want to listen to it anymore. This might burn my house down. As you. Mm, fuck. Oh, shoot. I'm sorry. What, what was your name again? As you. Nice to meet you, Azzy. I'm straight. Give me that money. I need that paper. Give me that cash. Me I that. want better gifts. Gangster. Real gangster. Give me that money. Give me that cash. I want pedicures. Bro, that brings a tear to my eye. Like, real, like from G to a G, that brings a tear to my eyes. Like, a man that was out there in them slugs. Here you say this. You, you want a pedicure. Oh. Oh, it reminds me when I was in the trenches with the Glock in my waistband selling rocks. <laughs> oh, God. I also just wanted a pedicure, too. <laughs> Give me that money. Give me that. Oh, like, take the Grammy. Take it! It's yours! You've earned it! But to be honest, this man really speaks to the streets. This man, hardest line, 2018. Give me that money, give me that cash. All I want is pedicures. At the end of this, if he says, and I want a man to eat my ass, bruh, this shit's about to go viral if he says that. This shit's about to go through the fucking roof. Yo, this shit's gonna be on top of rap caviar for at least the next three months. That's like minimum is going to be on top of there for the next three months. Billboard Top 100s, number one for the whole entire year of 2019. Bro, that machine must be smoking trying to perfect her voice because Jesus Christ. I don't want to get that money. And ain't get that money, and I ain't get that money. Yo, I feel bad for anyone who had to fucking listen to this while fucking mixing it. It must have been hell on earth mixing this shit, cause Jesus Christ. Like, literally, the people working on this have been doing God's work. Literally doing charity at this point. They're literally doing charity at this point, cause they know they don't even want their name attached to this shit. We're gonna shout out the studio who fucking, you know, helped us out. Nope, 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 we don't want it. You're good. You paid us already. We don't want no shout out. No, please, please. We don't want any more of your business. <laughs> please go away. We don't want any more people like you coming here. And also, this guy is screaming in the background like he's like 6'9 or X or some shit. Just like, stop it. We are not getting hyped for this shit. Give me that money. I need that paper. Give me that. I think that woman right there spitting out of water perfectly represents everyone fucking trying to watch this video. I don't get how anyone can watch this and just think, hey, yeah, yeah, that shit, that shit hitting, yo. Wait till I play this shit in the car, that shit gonna be bumping. C 
See, at least Ozzy knows why people are here for the video. Not because of the song, not because of fucking big bitch over here. It's because of them titties and that ass. Nasty money, money, this ain't classy money. I can tell this ain't no classy money. And this definitely some dirty money. Oh, baby. To be honest, who else thinks that if fucking Ozzy didn't make it as a YouTuber, she would just become a cam girl? I'm pretty sure if her and Sniper Wolf didn't make it on fucking YouTube, they would definitely be cam girls right now because Jesus fuck dude, both of them seek so much attention and they just love showing off their bodies for kids on the internet because there's no way neither one of them think, oh yeah, grown adults are looking at my videos. They would have to be so delusional if they thought that fucking grown ass men were wasting their time jacking off to them over the internet. Whenever they could go and find themselves a nice wholesome porn site to drain their Rocky Mountain oysters to. Pockets looking funny when you making assy money. Yeah, you're right. My pockets would be looking funny if I was making that assy money. My pockets would just be covered in fucking oil and just wet all day. Since you're an immigrant, get the fuck back over that goddamn wall. To be honest, she's literally acting like a bitch towards. I'm guessing those are supposed to be her parents. Oh yeah, we we had it rough as immigrants in the fucking United States, and then her parents just like, here, here's some food. I don't want that shit, nigga. We ain't got money. Eat. Jesus fuck, bro. Well, at least now you're living an American dream, a PG-13 porn star. Dropped at school, oh boy. Next thing you know. Parents told me to get a respectable job. I said, no. I'm going to go shake my ass like a hoe. Mom, you better know I'm going to drop it to the flow. Hey, how did I make a fucking better bar than them? What the fuck? Man, I should get into the rap game at this point. It's like, fuck it. If they can do what I can. We went from racks to riches from my goals. Still ride my bike though. No Rars or Lambos. No, I don't think you could buy a fleet of Ferraris and Lambos. I highly doubt. I put money on. I dare you, since you're just so fucking rich, to buy a fleet of Ferraris and Lambos. And hell, while you're proving me wrong, you might as well treat yourself to a Bugatti Veyron too. Just like some of you, lame bros. Yeah. We in a pot to piss and listen up in school. The kids were this and immigrants stressing, been professing. Last I last been waiting for a blessing. Some of y'all youths ain't ready for the message. Brand new, I gotta relocate. Life get caught when the degrees on pay. Not rich yet, but I'm on my way. Oh my god. I think we just found the ultimate mumble rapper. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. I only was able to understand the first bar. And after that, it was like someone hit him upside the head with a lead pipe and he just got brain damaged and he could fucking barely speak now. And I, myself, am a connoisseur of mumble rap. I can appreciate some good mumble rap, but this right here is garbage, bro. Like, who the hell fucking allowed this man to even step into the booth? I like how throughout the whole video, they're like flexing on everyone. Oh, we're rich. And then this right here, he tells the truth. Bitch, you on the way to fucking being unemployed for the rest of your life. Because after this music video, no one's going to hire you. This right here, this song right here is deplorable. Especially the video. The video is also too. This is also some ass. <laughs> Cause a racket. If you got fans, then go stack them. If you got hands, go on clap them. Roads are hard, no Google Maps. So I'm grinding shit, grinding shit. I've been in the shit. Go and take a shower, bitch. For breeze, you see, we rich. How are you gonna tell me that you're not rich? Not rich. And then 10 seconds later, say you're rich. For breeze, you see, we rich. I don't understand how that fucking works. You just don't stumble upon a million dollars within like two seconds coming out of the fucking booth. How come half the time you look so unenthusiastic about your own song and then the other half of the time you just look like somebody's about to beat your ass? Man, I swear she probably stays having that resting bitch face because Jesus fuck, it looks like she's about to cry every 10 seconds. Give me that better, that better, that money, that money. Must be strong. Can't give into the online daughtery. She's so powerful. No, no. Then she takes off her clothes. I won't. I won't. Fuck. Fuck. Oh my god. Whew. Jesus.
Jesus Christ, I need to drain out the fucking bank account for that ass. I'll jump in front of your screens and I like a monk. No, we're just gonna skip his two lines and just go on to fucking Ozzy's part. I'm, I'm sick and tired of hearing this guy. I just don't even know what he's saying at the time. I'm just going to Ozzy's part for scientific purposes. Money and fame are a lot of fake friends. Count out with the fame, all right? Like, no one outside of your little YouTube bubble knows you. It's not like you're fucking PewDiePie and mainstream media is trying to take you down and you're fucking battling a giant corporation that's trying to become the number one YouTube channel. No one's really looking out for you like that. You can have your best day, bitch. I still look better. My peach outfit lean that moaning with mass pornage. I say Romy money growing. You guys, I think her and Big Nim are now competing for the most incoherent line in the whole song because I have no idea what the fuck she just said there. It ain't about the bands though. It's all about my fans though. The fans I just flexed on. Yeah, it's all about them. After that last piece of heat she blessed us with, she went on to go to repeat the chorus and then ended the song right there. And I think this is where I'm going to end the video, you guys. So if you guys made it this far, comment your favorite bar from your favorite rapper. But other than that, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys in the next video.